greetings to your users, I'm Luis Oscar Maimi from Cineus Corp and one of the developers of the Hootball app. Today I will explain to you how to attach images using Hootsuite. First I would like to tell you that Hootsuite recently added an option to select an image upload service. This means that now you can select either pic.twitter.com or Audatly as your image upload service. This feature is available only for Hootsuite Pro and Hootsuite Enterprise users. So Hootsuite free users, if you need to upgrade, there is a link below too, so you can test this out along with the tutorial. So let's upload an image to using the pic.twitter.com image upload service. So let's go to our Hootsuite dashboard and you're going to select your profile. Once in your profile, under my social network, you're going to select the the Twitter profile that you want to change. Go to here, click settings, and once in the settings, you will see this image upload and an option to select either Audatly or pic.twitter.com. For this option, we are going to select pic.twitter.com. If this is the case that your Twitter account is on an organization, you need to go to here, view social networks, and select the social network that is available here, the Twitter account that you want to change. And once you select that, go to profile settings and change the image upload here. This is for Hootsuite organization, which is available in Hootsuite Pro accounts. So now let's upload an image to a social network. So first, do you want to select the Twitter account that you want to send it? I'm going to send an image to Don Pepe Pan. This is a test account that I use. And once you select the Twitter account, you're going to click attach image or file. Now you're going to select an image by going here. I'm going to select this one, this picture. This is me picking up coffee in Villalba, Puerto Rico. It was an awesome experience. So it was quite a lot of bees that day. Anyway, let's continue on. You click open here and the image will be uploaded. Once it's uploaded, you will see an Audatly link here. But didn't we select the pick.twitter.com? Well, it, it doesn't matter because this link will be converted to pick.twitter.com once the image goes to Twitter. So once that image uploads, you're going to write a message so it can look more Twitter-y like. So let's get me picking coffee. And the image goes here. Now you can either schedule the picture by going here, selecting the day and time, or you can auto schedule. For this example, I'm just going to send to send the image. Let me close this one and I'm going to send send now. Let's wait for it. And the message is posted. Let's go back to my streams and I'm going to refresh the dashboard and the image will appear here. Okay, I want to see how that image looks on Twitter. So once the image is uploaded here. I'm going to go to the Twitter account and click reload page to see how it looks. And as you can see, the image appears in line in the Twitter profile. And the image is uploaded in pic.twitter.com. This means that now that image will be available in this section of your Twitter account, the photos and videos sections. And the image appears in line, which is, that's what I mean. This is very, very useful for Twitter accounts. So if you are sending image to your Twitter, use pic.twitter.com instead of out that link. So this can show like this. So the, the image can show in line. In fact, let's see how uh, it works with the, with out that list. So you can see the difference. I'm going to go very fast, go to settings here to my testing account, so I'm going to change to Audatly. I'm going to go back, and now I'm going to upload another image to the Don Pepe Pan Twitter account. I'm going to change an image by going here, and I'm going to select this one. This one. This is a chicken. So let's upload that chicken there. Let's click open, and the image will be uploaded. Once the Audatly uh, appears, I'm going to select this is a chicken. Okay, and I'm going to send it now. Once the message is posted, this appears here, I'm going to go to my streams and refresh the Hootsuite dashboard and the image appear here. One thing that you will note here is that when you upload to Audatly, you will see a plus sign here. When you click that in the Hootsuite dashboard, you see the picture that I just uploaded. But if you go to the Twitter account and click refresh, 
you will see that the image does not appear like the pic.twitter.com image. It appears as a text and a link. And if you see here, a view photo appear here. So the user that your followers need to click here in order to see the chicken. So if the follower, if your follower cannot see the chicken, it's not going to be effective. So in this case, if your images are going to go to Twitter, use pic.twitter.com as your image upload service. So now that we uploaded the, the example for Twitter, you see how it works. So let's try it. The same thing for a Facebook page. This is a little bit different. In this case, the, a, the image upload service doesn't matter. You can either have it in Audali or in pick.twitter.com. The image will still look the same. So let's try that out. Let's go into select uh, first uh, Facebook page. I'm going to select the Panaderia de Don Pepe because this is uh, another fake account that I have for testing purposes. And uh, now I'm going to attach an images. In this case, see what happens when I click here, it's going to prompt me this windows telling me to select a Twitter profile. For this example, I'm going to select the same Twitter, the same Audali account, the Don Pepe Pan. And now once I selected that, I'm going to select an, an image to upload. And now I'm going to select the coffee gear. This is me again with my coffee gear when I was in Villarreal, Puerto Rico, picking out coffee. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, you pick open and the image will be uploaded. Okay, for this specific case, since the image is going to Facebook, make sure this is clicked. Hide URL when posting to Facebook or Google Plus, because if you don't click this, the, the Audali URL will appear. And also you can simply delete this and write a message. And me pick with my coffee gear, I'm going to try. Me with my coffee gear. And now you click send now. Now the message is posted. Go and uh, let's see how it looks on Facebook. Let's refresh the Facebook page. As you can see, the image appeared just fine, just as like if you were to upload it from facebook.com. So this is very, very powerful using the, the upload feature from Hootsuite to the attached image feature from Hootsuite to, to schedule images to Facebook pages. As you can see, this is how it looks. Another thing, once inside the Facebook, you may want to to highlight the picture if you like, so we can take more space in your timeline. Okay, let's go back to Hootsuite. That's how, that's how you upload pictures using the image attacks feature from Hootsuite. As you can see, this is rather easy to do and a pretty straightforward process. And also remember that image says more than a thousand words. Simply j j just look at the chicken. That says a lot. Anyway, now you have the homework of spending some quality time taking good quality original pictures, and of course, you can schedule those using Hootsuite. This was Luis Oscar Maimi from CNews Corp, and as always, you can contact me at cnews.com slash contact if you have any questions about the Hootsuite dashboard or if you need to upgrade to Hootsuite Pro or Hootsuite Enterprise, then I can help you to upgrade and advise you on a couple of advanced techniques that you can use. So, until next time, have an excellent day.